Alright, so this is an idea I've always kind of had rattling around in my skull, but I never—I don't think I'd ever turn into a real story. In fact, I think I'd actually, if I ever, if I ever, by some goddamn miracle, got into writing comics, I would, this would be one of the, probably the first things I would probably, like, go to work, ask Dynamite, hey, can I do this, please? Please? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the idea basically is, as you can see, Tarzan versus Dracula. I mean, let's face it, Tarzan and Dracula have fought every every other literary character. I mean, Tarzan's fought Kong, Predator, he even teamed up with Superman and Batman in Elseworlds stories. Um, yeah, he's encountered a lot. He's really encountered literally a lot of people. So, and, and Dracula too. I mean, yeah, he, Dracula's in both the Marvel and DC universe, and... Um, he's encountered Sherlock Holmes and had stories where he's fought Zorro. Yeah, there's actually a comic where he fights Zorro. So I don't think I'm far that far-fetched from having ta the Lord of the Apes fight the Lord of, of Vampires. Yeah, that would be the tagline. Lord of the Apes versus Lord of the Vampires, or Lord of the Undead. Yeah, these two kings of their respective kingdoms, outsiders of the normal world, and, and um, you know, Conquer, you know, leaders of you know different races. I think yeah, there's a lot of stuff that would be cool to see both. Ta you know, I think there's a lot of stuff in common for both Tarzan and Dracula. I mean, Tarzan uh, has this kind of this level of brutality he he grew up on. Same as um, Dracula. He in most in some forms he was Vlad Tepish, and we all know what Vlad the Impaler was like. You don't get that name from selling flowers. <laughs> so. Yeah, Vlad is so. The, yeah, there's a lot of similarities between. You could really, if you really look at it, Tarzan and Dracula have a lot of you know similarities. You're probably wondering, well, what about the storyline? You know, that wouldn't make sense. When you think about it, Dracula, um, Dracula and Tarzan kind of exist around the same timeline, roughly around the same timeline, really. So, it's possible you could have the you know you could have them as kind of like a story before Dracula, really, because if you really dig down into it. The, the story of Tar the first story of Tarzan is set about maybe seven almost ten years before Dracula you know the events of the Dracula novel so that's actually where I'd set it somewhere before the events of the of, Br of Bram Stoker's um, actual Dracula novel so the story is is that Dracula has you know he's trying to find a new what you know he's trying to find a new home because it's getting a little dangerous around where he is but before he ever you know, tried to go to Carfax Abbey in London and all that, he actually, um, he actually pur purchased land in Africa. He actually bought land in Africa and attempted to go there, you know, somewhere secluded, somewhere where he could feed on villagers and, you know, not be harmed by them. Because, yeah, the villagers who live in stone houses who don't have crosses, yeah, it would literally be a feeding ground for him, you know, somewhere where he can be safe from his weaknesses. Um... So, somewhere deep in the Congo, where he can, you know, even the where the trees are so thick, he could actually stay in the sunlight. I mean, stay out in, in the sun and not be burned by it. <laughs> when you, yeah, when you think about it, Dracula would be, you know, be terrifying in Africa. So the first person he goes to, maybe like I would also maybe set this a, f a few months, but maybe um, have it that. Uh, and maybe change the pro, uh, the pro, the story of Renfield because I would have Renfield in here if you if you if you're unaware of who Renfield is or don't remember he is the character who initially went to Dracula and he was Dracula's uh, lawyer before uh, he went Dracula drove him insane set him back and then Jonathan Harker came in uh, to, and we all know how that went if you read the book so I'd have it that Renfield is you know he's in Africa bought you know helping Dracula before he comes down there to get land in the Congo and most of Africa. And some of it, Tarzan's turf. And Tarzan, a.k.a. Lord Greystoke, is literally like, who the hell is this, you know, this Count Dracula, and why is he buying up land in my home? So, from there, you have, you know, uh, Dracula comes to Africa, and just imagine Dracula fighting gorillas, and, you know, Dracula and Tarzan. Because, yeah, Tarzan, you may say, oh, well, Tarzan's just a man. Yeah, he's just a man who's killed, I don't know, friggin' gorillas, leopards, lions, and this, I'm not saying by, with, um, the stuff he's fought in crossovers, I'm just saying in the books, hell, he's even fought dinosaurs. Just saying, you know, if you don't go by the, you know, the crossover, not, you know, the crossover comics, where he's killed a whole mess of predators, um, 
it's actually, you know, he could act, you know, he's actually accomplished a lot in just his novels alone. So, yeah, he's act, he's incredibly agile. He's a great hand-to-hand fighter. Um, but Drac- he, Dracula would be a new kind of opponent for him, an opponent who is superior, who's stronger and faster than him, as well as um, uh, Tarzan's no idiot. But they would definitely um, Tarzan and Dracula would definitely have a battle of wits. I would love to see that, and also Dracula turning Jane into a vampire. Come on, you wouldn't. <laughs> you, you don't think that would be a thing in this story of Dracula, fi- you know, Dracula turning Jane into a vampire? I would definitely put that shit in there. Um, And yeah, maybe I would have Dr. Van Helsing in here. You know, Tarzan and Van Helsing teaming up to fight Dracula. Because it's very clear in the novel that Dracula and Van Helsing have a history. So maybe a couple years younger Van Helsing teams up with with Tarzan to fight Dracula. That's how this comic would go. Um, But yeah, I think it makes a lot of... I think this, you know... I know it sounds really ridiculous. I am fully fully aware that this <laughs> can se- it sounds completely re goddamn ridiculous but at the same time I think I can make it work but again I don't think I'd ever make this a story I don't think I'd ever just make it a story this would be straight up comic ma- comic book material for me this is um, straight up um, co- this would be straight up comic book material if I ever got to work in comics, again, fat chance of that happening, but a guy can dream, right? You know, a guy can dream, right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, two great literary characters going head-to-head. I mean, we've had that before. We've had, tar- you know, we've had Dracula versus Sherlock Holmes and Dracula and other places. Why not, right? <laughs> I've always kind of thought that would be a, you know, this would be a cool matchup, and seeing Dracula in Africa alone would be kind of cool, you know, seeing him, you know, kill a lion with just, like, he just bitch slaps a lion and just breaks his neck. Um, yeah. I think that would be a lot of, I think that would, you know, it's also kind of possible. You know, they both existed, like I said, roughly around the same timeline, so yeah, it could work. Again, I would like to do this as like a, you know, I'd love to do this as a comic, and they are both both uh, they are both technically in public domain characters. I mean, Dynamite doesn't exactly own the rights to either Dracula or uh, Tarzan, but yeah, it would be cool as like a fun, you know, Dynamite type comic. So you guys tell me, what do you guys think of the idea of Tarzan versus Dracula? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Would you like to see it as a comic? Yeah, I know I would, and hell, I. Uh, hell, I'm the one talking about how I'd love to write it. So yeah, just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.